finally got in all the parts to redo my lawn my lawn tractor deck and I'm not going to do all three of these on camera unless there's some sort of special trick you need to do in order to you know do the entire job but I am just going to show one spindle, one blade removal, one pulley removal and everything that's needed to just replace one. So you can kind of read between the lines for the most part and figure out how to do the other ones or you know just a single other one if your deck has just two of them. So these aren't really all that hard to do. Uh, they are a wearable item. You have to replace them. Uh, I'm talking about the spindles, not just the blades. Obviously the belt too. All right, so removing the blade is easy enough. All you're gonna need is a, I believe this is a 15, 15 millimeter socket for this particular application. And I like to use an impact. That. And now, the blade just pop right off, and we're replacing these blades because, well, in order to remove the spindles, we have to replace, re remove the blades anyways. Um, the blades do have a significant amount of wear on them. In this environment, they wear out pretty quick. These were replaced last Back year. over. Now you're going to have to remove your spindle guard as well as your belt. I'll show you guys a trick. We are going to need the belt. So the spindle guard, these are easy enough to remove, they ain't all that bad. Alright, might do one more, nope, we're good. Spindle guard out of the way, and now we have access to the top of the pulley. You guys can kind of hear how that sounds needs to be replaced. When they start making noise like that, that's pretty much a telltale sign. You go ahead and remove the pulley. Now, obviously what you're going to need to do is hold the pulley so it don't move. We'll see if this works. Perfect. Not too bad. So there's the nut. We're going to save that. Let's see if this thing will cooperate. Normally these pulleys really don't, so I might have to grab the puller. Now, before I go any further with this, and I know you, some of you guys are going to comment about this if I don't say anything, but if your pulley is seized on the shaft, I do not recommend using a puller like this. If your pulley is seized, if it's rusty or whatever, there's a proper way to do it, and that's with a puller that utilizes these two holes in the center of the pulley. With this method, if you do it like this, you do run the risk of damaging these pulleys. Now, I'm very lucky in the fact that if you guys watch this, it comes right off without actually damaging it. So, I'm just throwing that out there. It's really lucky that I'm able to do it here in this environment with a puller like that. But if it's stuck on there, you will damage these, so you'll either need to get the correct puller for this pulley, or you'll need to get a whole new set of pulleys on hand to replace them all. And so now the last step, at least as far as removal is concerned, is to go ahead and now you're going to end up breaking the bolts off. Yep. So the bolts are snapping off. I'm going to have to buy new ones. Oh well. That's typical. So I'll need this to hopefully size up some new ones. So we have, but that is the process for removal of one of these pulleys. Again, if they're rusted or corroded, you're going to have issues. Thankfully, bolts are easy enough to replace. But I can feel how bad this one is. So hopefully I can find some hardware that'll work and then uh, we'll be right back. So I did manage to get lucky and find some hardware. So we'll go ahead and 
install the new one. Nice and new, nice and quiet. I'm not sure if these are greased from the factory, but we will, uh, of course, go ahead and grease these once I have all the new ones in. So these are self-tapping screws. These are always kind of a pain to thread in. In fact, what I'm probably gonna do is just thread these in by hand first. That wasn't too bad. Like I said, I'm just gonna do a jump cut. But now we're at the point where we can lube the shaft and I'm using some really basic molly grease. So I'll just throw a good glob of grease on here. It's probably good enough. Grab your pulley, just throw that on, and it is it's keyed. It's basically just a hex shape like a normal bolt. That's all you do. You just stick it back on. They do provide a new locking nut with this particular spindle. So go ahead and throw that back on. And again, use the old belt to hold the pulley. And now we're going to set that down. And you don't need to do it all that tight. I've been doing this long enough to know what the feel is, but go ahead and throw her on. And there we go. Nice and quiet now. I am really happy with that. Everything looks good to me. So now just to uh, get on with the rest of this, and then I'll meet you guys back with the next step. All right, so all the blades are in now. Everything's tightened down. These are a little bit wider than the old ones, but they seem to be okay. That sound you're hearing is, of course, the uh, belt brushing up against the pulley. So I'm just gonna flip it back over, throw the uh, belt guards back on, make sure the belt is right. Now I'm just getting ready to reinstall the belt covers. I am going to hold off on changing the belt out mainly because this one's actually still good. There's really nothing wrong with it, other than a couple nick marks right there, but you know that's nothing that isn't normal, uh, normal usage or what you would normally see on a belt that's about a year old. So I'm just gonna keep this one on and then when it breaks, I've got another one on hand. These decks are so easy to pull off of the lawn tractor that it's really not that big of a deal, at least to me. So if and when that time comes, I'll just replace it when I have to. But those are easy enough to throw back on, and then we'll uh, throw her back onto the tractor. All right, so those two idler pulleys, I'm still gonna have to replace those. Those were the ones that weren't really attached to anything. They just helped guide the belt. Both of them were making a lot of noise, but I decided to just press on with this repair. I will be ordering those in the future though. Like I said, you guys can probably still hear those two uh, idler bearings, or pulleys rather. And the ones I'm talking about are that one and the one that's over there. So both of these need to be replaced. I'll do that at a later date. 
I don't even know how much they are. I don't think they're very much money, but everything else seems to be okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more.